daily reminder to go outside and get some exercise, breathe some air, even if it's fucking cold air or warm air, and uh, get active. It all starts with movement. So get out there and do something. Stop staying inside all the time. Stop blaming the world. Get out there, breathe some air, let your mind clear, and reflect on your cleared out a storage unit yesterday. Um, about to go do a quick little small job and then gonna figure out what to do with all this bullshit, where to put it in the house and just kind of store it temporarily. Um, I would like to have some shelving in here, honestly, but aside from that, ugh, it looks like it, I don't know if it's gonna rain or not, but aside from that, some of this shit, like, you know, this is probably gonna get trashed that's getting trashed, that light's getting trashed. Um, I'm gonna use this dining room table as a painting piece. So that'll be fire. And then I plan on using this big piece of fuck as a painting piece as well, and probably the round top of this table and just get rid of this. But some of this stuff is going in the house. You gotta get rid of those tires and some of this shit is just gonna be fucking, what's it called? just going uh, in the house temporarily to still hold on to it and resell it like the couch for sure um, but yeah we're just gonna be reselling less or at least keeping stuff for less amount of time and uh, really just focusing on the day-to-day -day profits and getting rid of everything but we'll resell what we can that makes sense to do so and uh, Everything else, you know, just try to get rid of shit as fast as possible. Resell it if we can. If not, just junk it, scrap metal, the majority of everything, and just fucking focus on the junk side of things. More loads, more hauling away, much easier. But you can still make tons of money reselling, so we're still gonna be reselling, just only reselling what makes sense to resell instead of trying to resell everything. So I've been doing my best to keep track of calories using this thing called Fat Secret cooking a pot pie right now um i'm already at you know 1700 calories for the day because you can't cheat yourself and last night i motherfucking ate probably eight nine eight or nine teaspoons of cookie dough which literally is like you know 900 plus calories maybe even over a thousand um but that and then protein shake with collagen peptides and everything and a pot pie, we're looking at 1,700-ish calories so far for the day. Hear what I said, Kyle? I fucking, I ate too many cookie doughs last night in the middle of the night. I saw that tray in there. <laughs> like a fat ass. <laughs> oh, man. Um, cookie dough. Yep, so did I. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just last night, I ate the cookie dough. My oh, man, Ruby is out and about. Don't know what the fuck he's doing. they're up to um eating this fucking pot pie we head to this job we're actually able to head early so it'll be about 15 minutes early customer said they were there early so that works for us um update we ordered some new shirts as well we got two more of these types well three more we're giving one away we got two more of these for us um and then i got black shirts that we're going to start ordering that way, you know, get this fuck. That way, stains and dirt don't show as much. So, this white and black shirts. So, we'll keep you updated when those arrive. But fucking, it's got a little bit of sun peeking through, but the clouds definitely fucking uh, did come up and come over and cover everything. Interesting. All right, so we just stopped, got done with this. Still gotta load up some fabric. We're gonna drop off at a drop box, but this is the load. Some metal right here. The rest of it is all trash. Um, you know, we it's a past customer we worked for several times before. I think this is our, his, our third or fourth time doing a job for him. And he literally tipped us $100. So, just so amazing on a single load to, uh, so 500 for a single load in probably about 20, 25 minutes, not including drive time and stuff, but Huge blessing. Shout out, Mark. <laughs> Got these couches in. Stormy's loving it already. 
And we're just going to put furniture where we can and try to get it going ASAP Rocky. Alrighty. <clears throat> we got a protein shake, so ate an apple. <laughs> That's funny. Ate an apple. I already had one protein shake. I got my second protein shake, BCAA, and we got two hot dogs. Not fucking terrible for you, but. No excuses, just being a little puss, eating terrible stuff, but it's super easy to make and that's the issue. So, um, headed to the gym right now. They're fucking good, but. Tomorrow's plan, we gotta head to the landfill first thing because where we cleared out the storage unit, we're, you know, we moved everything around. I know what I'm using for paintings as far as like the base for tables and shit as a canvas. I know what I'm getting rid of. Um, and then based on after we do that shit, then we'll head back and get a full load of, of metal of all the, you know, excess bullshit from Turn around and get the fucking my wallet. I don't have it. And the light just came on for gas. So definitely gonna need to do that. But yeah, we'll hit the landfill first, and then we'll hit the scrapyard, and then. You know, get some calls for some jobs and go knock them out. We already got a job lined up for next Monday or Tuesday. I don't know the exact date. Kyle does though, but for another small moving job, mini move. It might only be a couple items, so. We will find out, but um, I mean, it is just a couple items, so. We'll see if she wants to, us to uh, do anything more. So that's what I mean we'll find out on. But, uh, man, what a crazy week last week. Fucking eight point something K. Absolutely nuts. Ah, tasty just like this fucking protein shake. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, because I gotta go get my the wallet <clears throat> and then then we're going to the fucking gym and I'll talk to y'all a little bit motherfuckers sitting here dying in the fucking sauna dude <sighs> holy fuck tell mom Logan do you want to live forever I walk this bitch yeah cuz I'm lonely because I took a big rip before I went to fucking the gym and I normally don't do that so I know definitely not to do that plus I ate a bunch of hot dogs <laughs> but about to get gas did chest today so incline bench press incline dumbbell bench press chest press and pec fly 30 minute cardio uh, 15 minute sauna or whatever and like I said, about to get gas right now. I'm fucking tired as fuck. I don't know why. Or I mean, I know why. I just explained why. But this shit really got me tired as shit. Ah. So 
I do this, head home. It's 6.30, so gonna go ahead and drink my bedtime tea, take my gummies, and probably start uh, cashing out for the night and uh, get ready for bed ski. Ready for tomorrow, baby. Good to go.
Time to drink this tea and get ready for bed. All right, finishing up this. Eating one more pot pie because I just can't stop myself. Tea's ready for the morning. Gonna take one final rip of the day. Still need to get my gym clothes ready for tomorrow. <sighs> Finish laundry tomorrow and um, gonna, I think I'm at like 3,700 calories for the day or 3,500 or something. So, you know the vibes, blowing it up as always. But get this shit ready, throw it in the bag, and we will be ready for the gym tomorrow. This is tough. Alrighty. Get ready every morning or every time after the gym that way you always got what you need always keep a hoodie in there a couple pairs of socks tank top wet pants and a towel to shower simple pimple she's ready for the morning all right so with that being said about to take this final rip go ahead and put this video together get it uploaded so it's one less thing i have to do it'll be ready and uh, get the little snippet up on Instagram and TikTok. And we will catch y'all beautiful fuckers tomorrow on the next vlog. Love you. Stay safe. Keep winning. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow.